the whole thing of dominion which is the rule of god or the government of god it is a government of life when jesus said you know the enemy wants to rob kill and destroy but i've come to give you life in abundance that's what he meant you know it wasn't oh we'll just get through this by the skin of your teeth and hope for the best it was like no abundance i've come to give you a whole different restored relationship and connection to creation but we have to bring that government and peace because it's no end to the increase of god's government and peace the kingdom of god we have to seek first the kingdom of god so everything else is added to us we can't live selfishly we can't live independently we've got to live an interdependent life with god dependent on his life rivers of living water flowing in our innermost being well what is that river doing bringing life wherever it goes if you read ezekiel talking about the temple you know and talking about the water that went under the threshold of the temple and then went knee deep ankle deep knee deep waist deep until it was flowing what was its purpose to bring life wherever it went so initially that river flowing in us because we are the temple of the river of life the spirit is flowing in us so it should bring life to us energizing us restoring us making us whole and then we are then recipients of that and then we are then flowing that creating an environment or atmosphere of that around us of energy fields of energy like peter had an energy field around him that it says his shadow healed somebody well it wouldn't be shadow because this shadow is just an absence of light it was the energy that was within what created the shadow was it the sun or was it his own light who knows i mean it is there's a sense where they used the words that they best could to describe what happened but they weren't scientists and they weren't using scientific expressions of what actually happened when peter walked by someone and they were healed but i believe he was producing an energy field that was able to produce life now again we're discovering wellness we're discovering you know technology that produces energy fields and produces life and health and stuff but i do ultimately believe it's going to be through the power of our own choosing reality and consciousness it's like our consciousness is expanding to begin to fully embrace the full capacity that we have as sons of god that even adam had that did things using sound and light and energy and things that we're only now beginning to discover technologically he had by the power of his own mind his own consciousness to choose and creation responded to him as a son of god to be fruitful and to multiply and to fill and to overcome and rule have that dominion um, but you know you can't do it by living independently and selfishly jesus came to model this but he only did what he saw the father do it so we need intimacy with the father if we're going to live that sort of life you know a lot of people just want to live forever they don't want to live forever in the purposes of god they just don't want to die so they can carry on thinking having a good time whereas actually i don't want to die because i want to outwork the purposes of god you know it's a different motivation you know and if it's going to be technology guess who's going to get it first the rich the wealthy those that can afford to pay millions or billions for technology to keep them alive well that's not how god wants it to be there is no respecter of persons that wealthy people get it first which is why when this technology comes or when this abilities are restored it's for everyone not just some which is why we've got to make sure that any discoveries and things that are made towards health agriculture energy are all used for everybody not just some so they need to come into the right hands 
and to be legislated correctly, not just, oh, well, here's another discovery that's either going to be suppressed or, or hidden for the few. Yeah, God wants to bless every family of the earth. You know, not just some and not just the rich ones. You know, which is why the administration of the things of discoveries and things that are being released in terms of energy, agriculture, water, you know, there's a lot of new advances out there which has come out of heaven, which are being administrated away from the usual people who control all this stuff. The financiers who essentially are the ones who control the energy producers they control i mean it's been, there's been lots of free energy solutions out there for uh, for a while they've just been suppressed because <clears throat> well no one's going to make any money out of free energy so there's no incentive for free energy you know boilers and cars that run on water for instance that ability has been out there for a while but it was suppressed, could never get financed, could never come to market. So we need new sources, not based on heavy metals, which are poisonous, but based on perhaps gravity or other sort of natural things that can produce energy. And also obviously the quantum field producing zero point energy out of the quantum field because it's designed to re-energize the planet. That's how it's there. We are being re-energized all the time, but we're not focusing it into specific energy that can be used to power things or run things. So a lot of interesting stuff taking place, I think. Behind the scenes, a lot of it, hidden from view, being ready to be released at the right time, to the right people in the right place you know i mean let's let's face it if there was new advances in agriculture with water technology which meant water could function like a gel to water plants and irrigate plants who should get it first third world countries who don't have any irrigation who are living in famine and drought you know you don't really need it in america or the uk because actually we've got plenty of water and we're irrigating our crops anyway so let's keep, let's make sure that those who need it the most get it first because that is what god would want well that's not going to make the money you see because they can't pay for it you know so we want it developed by those who are not going to charge for it so there's a, there's a lot of things which need to be in place in terms of the government of God, the rule of God, to facilitate the changes that need to take place to bring about heaven on earth, you know, to bring about the well-being economy, that we're more focused on people being happy rather than rich, supposedly with financial issues, um, because finances shouldn't be the measure of the world. But they've become the measure of the world over the last, you know, couple of centuries, or particularly, I suppose, the last 2000 years, ultimately, but much worse in the last four or 500 years, where most of the world is controlled by very few people using their influence and using their money to control things. Yeah. Whereas God wants everyone to be blessed, not just some. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.